So in this video I want to show you the Orange Pi 03 and why I think this is one of the best devices to learn Linux. This device comes with two USB 2.0, a jack port, a micro SD card to boot the system, you can use Linux or Android, an Ethernet port, another USB port, a Type-C port just to power in the device and a micro HDMI. This is with a case, I will leave the link to the case in the description, but in this case there is a problem. If you want to extract the micro SD card, you will need a pair of tweezers. So you can take the micro SD card like this. And also I will show you how is the Android image and the Debian one, which I think is the best for this device. And this is a very good alternative to the Raspberry Pi 3. You can host here some light servers, for example a VPN, and it comes with a hat that includes two 2.0 USBs and one jack for your audio. This is the official page for the Orange Pi 03, and if we go to the download tab, we can go down until we see the official image. In this case, we are using this one, the Debian image, but you can try also the Android one, the Ubuntu image, or the Arc Linux based distribution. Also, we have third party images, so you can install, for example, Kali Linux, Arbian, or Raspberry Pi OS. But I have to say that I tried Arbian, and for some reason, when I update the packages, the image is broken and the device doesn't boot anymore. So I have to flash again the micro SD card. For this reason, basically, I'm using Debian, and I will show you also how is the Android image, because to be honest, I didn't like it at all. But I think with the Debian image, we are good to go. Okay, so this is the Android image for the Orange Pi 03. And as you can see, it has a custom launcher. I tried to install a lot of different things, but I have to say that I don't like this Android image at all. For example, I can open Kiwi browser. You don't have the World Play Store, so you have to install these APKs by yourself. As you can see, I downloaded a lot of different applications. So as you can see, browsing the internet works pretty well. You don't have any problem. Let's open YouTube, for example. Let's play any video from the channel, for example, this one. As you can see, this is working at 480p and it is working well. Let's open the start furnace and we only have a few drops at the beginning, but right now it is very stable. Let's increase the resolution and you can see that I'm using the web YouTube instead of the application because we don't have Google Play Store, so we don't have the Google services and we cannot install the YouTube application. But in general, in Android, you will have better graphical performance than in Linux. As you can see, in 720p, we have a few drops, but everything is working pretty well. Let's try in full HD. Let's put this in full size. And we have a few drops, but the video is quite playable, so I think the performance is not that bad. The problem, as I said, is that we don't have the World Play Store. I tried to install the World Play services and the World applications, but I wasn't lucky and I couldn't install the applications. You can see that I have installed Magix, we have root in this image, but when I try to flash the Google application zip, for some reason, Magix crashes it stops and I cannot flash the zip file. As you can see, I tried to install an APK from the internet, but if I try to open it, it automatically crashes. Also, I tried to install PPSSPP, the PlayStation Portable Emulator, but as you can see, we just have a black screen and I cannot close this. So basically, I have to restart the Orange Pi 03 in order to have again the control of the system. So I have just restarted the device. So let me show also the default applications that comes with the device. For example, we have a file explorer. So in case you want to see any film, any movie you have downloaded previously, you can do it without any problem. But in general, I feel like this image is very limited, it's very basic, and it doesn't provide a true Android experience for my taste. So for that reason, I think that this device only makes sense if you want to run Linux. So let's go with the Debian image. This is the Debian image from the official page. But as you can see, I have customized this a little bit. If you want to know how to customize this as I did, just check this video. The ultimate customization, this is for Linux and Android, but you can use basically the same steps to configure your desktop in the Debian image for the Orange Pi 03. As you can see, I changed the terminal, I also changed the icon packs and also the Windows themes. So I think it looks really cool. 
I have to say that this device is not very powerful, so if you want to use this as a server, it's better not having a graphical user because the interface consumes some resources. So it's better to have just a terminal so you can SSH into this device and you can do whatever you want. For example, running some Telegram bot. Well, let's install Python. As you can see, it was already installed. So let's run Python. And here you can execute some commands. For example, and you can see that this is a very simple code, but you can create your own scripts and start learning some programming just from this device. So if you want to watch multimedia in the web browser, it may lag a bit. Let's click on it so we can check how is the performance of YouTube in the Chromium web browser. It took a bit to load and we are in 720p, but the video is lagging. We can check the nerd stats and in 720p, it seems that it is not powerful enough. So let's down the resolution a bit okay so let's check the stats for nerds and in 420p we can see that we are dropping some packages so yeah so you can check that this device is not going to be the best for media consumption but as i said you can use this to learn a lot to program a little bit and to create some simple servers so you can see that it took a while to load all the interface we were seeing the video, but we were not seeing all the interface in YouTube. And this is related to how powerful the device is, because it's not that powerful. If we check, for example, HTOP, we can see that this device has 4 GB of RAM. We were using almost half of it. If we check how is the CPU performance, when we open, for example, Chromium, we should see a spike here. You can see that most of the cores are at 100% just opening the web browser. And we can see that when we load a web page, the CPU is having some difficulties. So you can check that when we are browsing YouTube, we have a high CPU usage. We are using half of the RAM, a little more. And if we click on any video, we are loading it at 480p. And we can see that the CPU is almost at 100%. So yeah, this device is not going to be the best for media consumption in the web browser. But I highly recommend you checking this other video where I show how to create a NAS. So you can use this little device to share a, maybe a USB hard drive in your network. So you can learn how Samba works, for example. So to learn a little bit of Linux and some programming, I highly recommend you this web page. As you can see, it is called over the wire and you have several levels. The first one is this one is the easiest. You can find the solutions for everything on the Internet in case you struggle with some of the challenges a little bit. So, for example, let's click on level zero. As you can see here, you can find some tips like this is related to SSH. And here you have the goal of this level which is just basically connect to this server on this port using the username and the password. This is very simple, but this is the level zero and it teaches you how to connect with SSH to a server. For example, let's exit Python, SSH, first the username, so we can copy this, paste in the terminal, add, and now the server, which is this one. So by default, SSH listen in the port 22, but we have here this port, so we have to change this. So let's copy, specify the port with the P parameter and the name of the port. And now just hit enter, type yes here, and now we are prompted with the password. So let's copy this password. Let's paste this here and we are inside the server so let's go to the following level level 0 to 1 and here we have to look in a readme file the password so let's type ls and here we can find the file this is very simple again but it teaches you that you can use ls to list files and you can use cat to read the files so once we have the password just go again to the original command and change the username with bandit1 now paste the password and here you can see that we are in the next level so this is a very fun way to learn some linux and it teaches you a lot of different things and as i said you have a lot of different levels you have some complex ones some easiest ones and you have a lot of information on the internet in case you have any problem
So basically, this is why I think the Orange Pi 03 is one of the best devices you can buy to learn Linux and some programming and start tinkering with your computers because it's very cheap and you can customize it as you prefer. Also, as you can have the operative system in a micro SD card, in case something goes wrong, you can just reflash it and start configuring everything again. So in general, as you can see, you can learn Linux, you can learn some programming, in Python, for example, you can configure this, for example, to use JavaScript instead or to program in a lot of different languages. Apart from that, you can configure your own servers. You can have a VPN server, you can have a web server or whatever you want to configure in this little device. This is why I think the Orange Pi 03 is one of the best alternatives that you have to a Raspberry Pi in case you want something cheaper but you can start learning how the SBC works, how Linux works, and in general, a little bit of networking, server configuration, Linux configuration and customization, etc. So if you have any doubt, please leave a comment in the description and I will try to help you.